Hi guys, back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a phenomenal day and I don't even know what day it is. Schedule has been... June just has not been our month this month. If you're familiar with my channel, you've been with me for a hot minute. Normally I post every single day. I've done that since February. Um, yeah, that hasn't happened this month. Um, things have happened. You know, I film an entire video and it dies. Because life and technology and sometimes it hates you. And sometimes Honey Badger doesn't want to focus for the entirety of the video. If you don't know what Honey Badger is, my camera. But if you clicked on this, you're probably looking because you were looking for the Sephora Play Luxury Edition. I'm very, very excited to talk about this. Um, I actually have a future haul from Sephora that will include him in there. It's, it's a mess. I have so much... I was literally telling someone today because I was doing some research for the subscription boxes. And they're like, how can you be behind? And I'm like... Because there aren't enough days in the freaking month I'm overwhelmed. There's so much stuff to talk about. Um, excuse me while I open my notebook to the notes that I did not already pre-open because that'd be smart. Um, so yes, so basically I got a notification. This was only for, Sissy, it was VIB Rouge, right? Yes. Um, VIB Rouge members. So basically, excuse me while I sip water off camera. It's really freaking hot. If you're with me. I normally have my candle lit, but um, I feel like he gives off too much heat because it's burning in here. Um, no, it's just, I live in a hot climate. It's just, no matter how cool I keep my AC on, it's still hot in my home. Hate it. Um, but no, basically we got an email from Sephora going, hi, there's a special luxury edition of the Playbox. It is not a subscription service. They specifically said that on it. It is a one-time box, and they basically gave info of... Um, the brands, they showed the six different brands that would be featured in there, which was Burberry, Dior, um, how do you pronounce the G1? The Guerlain? Guerlain. Guerlain? Did it right. Yay! So um, Le Mer, Tom Ford, and Yves Saint Laurent. Um, which I was familiar with all but one of those brands. So I was like, that sounds really cool, even though I have no idea what will physically come from these brands. Uh, but yeah, those six different brands would be featured in the box. The box was $20, and literally that's all you know. All you knew is that you were getting sample sizes. That's all the information you gave. It was $20, and these six brands are going to be featured in it. It was only offered for a limited time for Rouge, because they only had a limited supply of boxes. Honestly, what I think, because I remember seeing pictures of this months ago. Correct me if I'm wrong, people probably saw floating around on Instagram, but I remember Sephora posting about a luxury play box, and I was super excited because I was like, that sounds really cool, because if you're not familiar with Sephora, there's Prestige is only really so. There's like Sephora brand, and then Prestige products, and then there's the Prestige of the Prestige, like your Dior, and your Burberry, and your Hourglass, and insert other names of high-end brands that are like ridiculous, Tom Ford, um, that have really, really crazy high prices on the products, but they're really, really good. Um, but typically they're not like sample sizes you would typically get inside the store and stuff, like they're not typically even 100 point. I actually can't remember the last time I saw one was a 100 point perk from one of those like really prestige, prestige brands. Doesn't matter, don't care, all I know is I was really, really excited for this play box, but yeah, I remember them kind of teasing and testing the waters uh, with that Instagram post of would you guys be interested in maybe having a different type? So what I imagine Sephora is doing is they did this one limited edition box to test the waters to see how quickly it would sell out to have an idea of how many they should pre- have in mind to launch. Because if you're not familiar with Sephora Play, I know for me I was on the wait list for a year and I'm already a VIP Reach member. Not that I think that had any matter or factor on how you got into the queue for play. Don't know, but I literally waited a year with Sephora, a little over a year actually, to get into play, let alone actually like get the boxes. So yeah, that's what I imagine they're doing. They're testing water, see how quickly it's sold out, to see how many boxes they ideally need to have before they actually launch a luxurious play subscription service. I hope they do well. So let's talk about what's inside of here because it's really exciting and this is just a box. Also, because this wasn't a subscription service, because I've shown you guys my other plant, I do not have one right in front of me because it's over in my bag of wonder. Um, but this one actually doesn't have any shipping information on it. Because it's not a subscription service, so it actually came in a normal Sephora box, like you ordered other things. Um, that was really weird because we placed a Sephora order because my sister wanted, she had a free code for like, it was like a YSL set. Yeah, you lost it. It came with like a primer, a uh, lipstick. And a mascara. And a mascara um, from UC Laurel. 
Or, bottom line is, um, we had to spend so much money to uh, get that, but this ships separately. So, don't know where it came from, don't really know, don't really care. Let's open the box. So, yeah, you open it up. Obviously, I'm doing an is it is it really with it of one hour early. Really. I'm gonna do a price breakdown with it, not is it is really. I'm actually changing that, it's not one of those videos today. Um, so, inside, first thing that's on the top was this lovely little playbook. Which, if you're familiar with the Play subscription service, they always have like a folded up. I again do not. I wish I pulled one of my play boxes. I'm just too lazy. I literally have one next to me, and I'm too lazy to get it out of my bag that I have it in. Whatever. Um, but let me get you guys a little bit closer on him. So yeah, when you open him up, he's literally like oh, that's a cute little bold accent. Um, what does it even say? The iconic edition. Uh, but basically how they would normally have that little folded up piece of paper, they did it like book style of the different products and features and kind of like talking about all the products in here and also does like, I don't know, they ask you questions in here. Oh yeah, they had like a little like, let's talk fashion trends and stuff so you could see like what fashion trend you like would match up with, which I was like, oh that's cute. Also, I can't really hold the book open, it's a pain in the butt. Um, But yeah, they're just showing off a bunch of the different, it's just a bunch of garbage. It's a bunch of stuff. No one really cares about this. What is important is inside this lovely little gold bag, which I just hit myself in the face. There's the box. I do love the little gold accent. Do you guys see that on the Sephora? You guys can't see that. Oh, it's right there. You guys might be able to see that. Can you see that? There's a tiny little thing that says Sephora.com on it and it's in gold. No one cares about that. I would care about that little detail. And toss. Lily hit a wall. My sister's glaring at me. Don't care. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is what the bag looks like. It's got a little keychain thing, which, um, whatever. So let's get inside of the product. So yes, this was $20, and it was only wide supplies last. I had no idea how many bags or boxes they had. Um, so let's get straight into it. I have opened and sniffed the stuff. I have not swatched anything. No, I have not swatched anything. Um, but I have sniffed. So the first thing in here is from Burberry. Let me get him out because of course he's in the bottom of the bag. You would think with my intelligence I would put things in an opposing order. So because when I research I go alphabetized and then I should put them back the opposite direction. So that the stuff that I would talk about first would be at the top of the bag, not the bottom of the bag. That would be smart though. I um, know. So the first thing in here is from Burberry. Uh, which, if anybody tells me correctly, I don't think they identified which ones were going to be makeup and which ones are going to be fragrance. Like, no, they, they did. They makeup, did? Makeup, skincare, and fragrance. Yeah, but they didn't identify which brands were going to give which kind of product. Yeah. No, they just said that they were going to. Don't care. Um. Yeah, so this is from Burberry. This is their eye opening volume mascara. I love how I'm trying to carefully read it off of this box because this box is not easy to read yes so it's the Burberry cat that's not the name of it don't care this is the Burberry cat lashes mascara boom that's what it is that's what it says inside of the booklet now I have to double check do you guys ever do that when you guys when you're like talking about something and yes this is cat lashes mascara because later my sister asked me the other day if I had locked, like, the vehicular. And because I knew I did, I knew I did. But I second-guessed myself because she mentioned it. And I was like, what? Maybe I did it. Maybe I imagined it. So now I have to go look. And of course, it's locked. I do that to myself all the time. I'll literally be in the car trying to leave. And then I'll go, to I lock my front door? Oh, I don't have to get outside to go check it. And of course, it's locked because that's how it works. So, yes. Back into this though. I feel like we're really into this video and we have not seen any products. So yes, this is the Burberry Cat Lashes Mascara. It's in a point eleven ounces and it is worth $16.50. Guys, it's disgusting. It's in the shade black. So this is what the actual tube of mascara looks like. With the glare from my camera's light. Okay, I'll insert a picture of the wand. Stuff. Uh, my sister said she'll insert a picture of the wand. 
Uh, so did anyone catch that? My sister made a sassy comment in one of my videos attached to my pictures. Like, of course, the sissy attached pictures. Because, yeah. So I also wanted to put in there, like, how much this stuff costs full size. So you guys can see just how crazy, like, some of these prices are and why you typically would never see it in a normal play subscription service. So the Burberry mascara is normally a .2 ounce. This one is a .11 ounce for $16.50. So it's a little bit over the half point um but his full size sister is thirty dollars that is disgusting granted i love a yves saint laurent mascara and he's what 32 32 99 percent positive um and next thing in here which i was super excited because i knew we were probably gonna get i think it said that there were gonna be like two perfumes i can't remember if they identified brands but i thought they were just gonna be like you know the little itsy bitsy little sprays that sephora puts in their normal place no. So the first one that we got was from Dior. This is Poison Girl. It's a .17 ounces and normally the spritzer is only between like a .2 and a .5. I think the most I've ever seen is like a .6. I think I might have seen a .6. It's only .5. Um, but yes, this is a .17 um, and it is worth $5 and it came in a cute little box. Look at this. Look at this. It's an actual little mini. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to accidentally un stop her him. It's a mini bottle of perfume. How freaking adorable is he? Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what? I don't think I actually smelled this one. I'm going to sniff him. Um, yeah, he's worth $5, but his full-size sister, and of course I go obviously on the largest size, um, is a 3.4 ounce worth $100. Granted, perfume, like, oh, perfume's irrelevant. I can't get him open. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to force him. I can smell him. He smells kind of sweet. Put him over there. Um, no, I'm terrified. I'm going to actually unstop him, and he's going to pour all over my everything and all over the new products. Don't want to do that. So, yes, he is worth $5. Next thing here is from, how do you pronounce the brand again? Gurlian. 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 Um, I have never heard of them. Have you heard of them before? Only, what? Well, only for the product you actually have in your hand. Only the product that I actually have in my hand. I guess some other, like, peeps that my sister has watched, um, has talked about this. But it's from Guerlain. This is the, oh, I'm going to butcher this. This is French. Le Pure Radiance Face Primer. Le? 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 It means gold. It means gold. Whatever. It's a Radiance Face Primer. It is a .16 ounce. His full size sister is a 1.1 ounce. His full size is $74. This guy's worth $10.76. But it is a face primer. That legit, I love how I didn't actually show you guys the box. So that's his box that he came in. No one cares about the box. Camera wide, you focus on. There we go. Um, no one cares about the box. It has actual flex of gold inside this primer. I'm still trying to understand why you need gold flex in your face primer. Who cares? Makes no sense. I don't know what gold is obviously doing for your face to make the face primer better. I should have looked into that. It has medicinal purposes. It has medicinal purposes. Uh, no, I think it's one of those things like, um, I'm using a gold infused face primer, so my face primer is obviously superior to your face primer. Overprivileged people. God, I hate it. Um, so yeah, that's him. So the size that is in here is a point sixteen ounce. He's worth seven dollars and seventy six cents. And again, his full size sister is a seventy four dollar face primer. Why? Because it's gold in it. Next product in here, I was super excited about. I knew it was gonna be the most expensive thing in there because they said that there was gonna be La Mer in here. And the only thing I know about La Mer is that I heard someone said that Cher uses La Mer. I don't I don't care. It's expensive. That's all I know. So, this product is the La Mer, the uh, Moisturizing Soft Cream. It's freaking moisturizer. Why can't you just say it's our freaking expensive moisturizer? So you're like, the Moisturizing Soft Cream. Is it for your face? Is it for your hands? Like, is it for your body? What's it for? Your face. So this is what his little, little cute little packaging is. There he is. Out of focus. I don't even have the camera going, honey badger. The camera going. The candle going. Honey badger, can you focus for mommy? He hates me sometimes. Uh, but yes, this is a .24 ounce. He is worth 
Reminder, this box was only $20. This little guy, let me actually take him out so you guys can see his little cute little packaging. He's so adorable. There's his cute little packaging. But this guy is a point two four ounce, which is pretty standard size of like moisturizer that you would get a little sample of. He's worth thirty seven dollars and twenty cents. Why? I do not know. Literally I'm just trying to like fathom what Youth, like, do they have, like, Severus Snape on the line at La Mer to make these youth potions or something? Because this better give me eternal youth, because his full-size sister is only two ounces for $310. But I have the elixir of life in it or something, you know, some freaking Philosopher's Stone made it or something. I can't it has open flex it. Has flex of philosopher's stone in it. Has flex of philosopher's stone. It better. You know what it smells like? I don't think I actually smelled it in the when we opened him up. No, you didn't want me to open it. You were like, no. no I'm gonna open it on camera. It, no joke, smells just like the soy face cleanser from Fresh. It smells identical. It just smells like cucumbers and baby powder. And I'm gonna throw it over to my sister so she can. We already had the discussion on the La Mer and how we're gonna use it. I'm gonna get it for one shot my stash. And then he's mine. And then it's my sister's. And I'm only probably gonna use him a little bit. I'm probably gonna have a different moisturizer as well with him. Um, Cause I think my sister will enjoy it more than myself. So definitely my sisters. How many of you guys have sisters or siblings in general that would share like that? That is my that is my best friend. I love her. Um, but yes, that is worth thirty seven dollars and twenty cents. When I did that research, I was literally flabbergasted that they put a product there like so drastically over the price of the box. So that's a lot of the La Mer soft cream, freaking moisturizer. Who spends three hundred and ten dollars on moisturizer? People. People that have crazy amounts of money that want to spend you know crazy amounts of money on moisturizer. Next product. Um, so this is from Tom Ford. Obviously, I opened him because I wanted to sniff him. Um, so yes, this is from Tom Ford. This is their Black Orchid. Orchard. Orchard. Orchid. It's a flower. Orchid. Apple. That's all I gotta say. Apple. Um, so yes, Black Orchard. Orchid. Orchid. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. Literally, guys. I was wondering when I got on camera if I was going to look really exhausted or like be really hyped. Okay, so I had a lot of caffeine today and giving me caffeine is equivalent to giving like a three-year-old a giant trick-or-treat bag full of candy. Like, you know, with like the small children that they're not like even shaking, they're vibrating with energy, like just like, oh my gosh, it's so much fun, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so much fun, oh my gosh. Yeah, that, that is what I feel right now, but also exhaustion, because it's been a long day. Um, so yes, this. So this is a 0.1 ounce, which granted is smaller than the Dior one that we got, but he's a freaking rollerball. The other one's a stopper. This one's a rollerball. I was like, oh my gosh, we got a little rollerball of perfume. How freaking cute. I don't really care for his smell. He's got like a, um, a very strong, like, muskiness to him. He's just not my cup of tea. He's not my cup of tea at all. Not at all. But he is a one, a 0.1 ounce. He's worth $4.94. Which, I mean, if you think about the fact that the uh, Dior one was worth $5, but it was, like, a lot more perfume. The Tom Ford is actually a lot more expensive perfume. Um, the Tom Ford perfume is also 3.4 ounce. He's $168 for that. Um, but, yes, he's worth $4.94, the little perfume. And the last product that is featured in here, this is a really long video for a little subscription box. But we had a lot of discuss. Also, I really kind of like the bag. It's a lot better than the other play bags, and it also does say play on it. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to pick that up. Can you guys see that's right there? Um, but super duper cute. He might be in a future shop my stash. Um, but the last product we have in here is from Yves Saint Laurent. Um, and he was actually the biggest pain in my butt. 
all the subscription boxes, like if you guys haven't noticed, the subscription service from May for Ipsy and Sephora is not up yet. And it's because I literally have just finally, finally found two of the products. The research was nuts. I really wanted to strangle myself. Um, but this guy was paying my butt because it doesn't have the ounces on it. If I don't have ounces and I don't have weight, I have no idea how to price them because then I'm just pulling at strings. So it took me a while to find an identical one that did have the ounce identification with it. So this little guy is the Yves Saint Laurent um, Rouge, whatever the fudge that is. The fudge is this. Hey, I'm gonna throw my sissy the book. Hey, tell me what that weird word with a V starts. Oh, French speaking human that I'm, I'm not French the speaking. Page. What are you talking It's the Yves Saint Laurent. Open it up to the Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. Yeah. You'll see a picture of the Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. Sorry, this book is hard to do. It's so stiff. Why won't they keep it in alphabetic order? Because that would be easy. first? Yes. It's one of the first things. You'll see the tube of lipstick. This is a lot for a pronunciation of one word. But the, uh, volumte? Volumte? Voluptuous. It means freaking voluptuous. Rouge volumte. Shine oil lip, uh, shine oil in stick. Shine oil in stick? That does not does that sound luxurious to you guys? Yes. Shine oil and stick. No, that sounds weird. Um, but yeah, so this is their voluptuous rose lipstick. Don't care. Um, but it is in the shade 49, which is bright strawberry pink, which bright it is. So this is what his lovely little packaging, obviously his little color indicator is a good indicator of what hip detailing. Oh, I love it. So, so, so pretty. I opened him upside down. It also smells good. But look at that color! I didn't have anything else to swatch. No, I just had stiffs. I'm going to swatch them so you guys can see. He's so freaking creamy. And this actually makes the third Lise Laurent lipstick I have. I have one that my sister is like in love with. It's in her permanent makeup bag. We've got another one in that. I'm not taking him right now. Do I'm in the um gosh he smells so good he smells like candy but like good candy really good candy um but this little guy is 8.03 ounce he is worth seven dollars and 40 cents and his full-size sister is a point fifth um point 15 worth 37 dollars no i'll be paying 37 dollars for one full-size lipstick so let me just give him a little He's so freaking creamy. He just feels like butter melted onto the skin. Look at that. I love that it's not a matte. I actually really prefer, um, oh my word, the stain power. Look at that. Uh, that is one thing I will say for the use of our lipsticks because I did have one of them in my shop, my stash. It stays really freaking well. Like, are they expensive? Yes. Are they worth it? Yes, that's kind of how it works. Um, so, quick reminder. Hang on, guys. Dying perch. Um, so, quick reminder. Again, the box is only $20. Its actual retail value on this box is $81.80. That is a 76% savings on prestige of prestige products. You will never get that kind of savings with these brands. Like, the only time you ever really get them on sale, because Ulta does not sell these brands. They do not sell this stuff. No, they do not. Um, but Sephora will do either 15 or 20% off, depending on the season, the time of year, whatever. They might do that, but still, you're never going to get that crazy high of savings because you're never going to see this stuff in the sales section. You're not going to see La Mer in the sales section on Sephora. It's not going to be on clearance. No. Garbage, no. So, yeah, the only time you typically save is most, at most, 20%. So, you're never going to hit anywhere near 76%. That is insane. Honestly, I really kind of hope they do a permanent subscription service to this because higher would be on that, like, right on rice. I don't know. Well, we are about to discontinue Birchbox. So, 
I would probably he's going bye bye. If they came out with a luxury subscription service, I would probably either drop Ipsy or Sephora. I don't know that I would keep both of them and continue on getting just these. I would have too many sample size products. I'm already overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that I have. I literally had because let me show you guys really fast. See this bag? That's bigger than my face. See how it's like really stuffed? Yeah, that's full of just my subscription boxes. It's freaking ridiculous. I'm only subscribed to five. One of them is quarterly too. Um, but yes. So honestly, I think this is amazing. I really hope they actually make this a real subscription service and not just a one-time box. Even if it was just a one-time box, if they did it multiple times. I have a piece of hair on my face. Do you guys ever have that moment where you have like a piece of hair on your face, but you can't find out where it is because it's like it's one strand? Um, even if they only offered it like, I'm trying to think what that bag is that we found last Christmas. There's a lizard on the window. Um, it had like a really expensive palette in it. Remember I showed you videos about people unboxing it and had someone... I do not like watching other people in the beauty community. I love the beauty community, which is why I choose not to watch them because me and my sissy watch people unboxing this stuff and all I can do is, oh my gosh, do you not know how to blend your eyeshadow? Oh my word, why do you have a makeup channel and you don't have a lick of makeup on your face? You look like the undead. <sighs> yeah, I don't like watching. I troll, I will never comment. But I internally troll. Um, but no, basically, like, it's a service or something or whatever. Um, that they would do, like, a special, like, premiere thing as, like, supplies last and stuff. So I wouldn't mind if, like, they kept doing that with this version of Play. Well, it's and a lucky then, I mean, bag. What? Was it a lucky bag? A lucky bag! That's what it was called. Yes. Thank you, sissy. Um, but if they did it similar to, like, that, they did it a couple times a year. And, you know, it's first come, first serve basis. Like, I wouldn't mind it because it's pretty awesome. But I really would like an subscription service because who wouldn't want to get that? In the mail is a surprise like Merry Christmas to me um, but yes that is it for this I'm so sorry I was so late on it because I literally have had this research since I got it I literally researched the day I got it uh, but yes that's it for this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get notifications about when the videos get posted because uh, it's been it's been a month it's been a month. Make sure you hit the lovely little notification button. It's that lovely little bell. It's the subscribe button. Also, if you want to follow me on my social media, it's going to be links in the description below for the social medias. And then if you want to enter my giveaway, because I'm giving away an amazing little Lorac palette. I absolutely love it. And I'm actually trying the Cobra Mascara right now, which I am in love with, and that's in there. Um, so make sure, also the Cobra Mascara is sold out, because you can only get on Lorac's website. I was literally looking at this today. Um, so make sure you click on the cards, which are above my head somewhere over here. Uh, but if you click the cards, it'll take you to the video so you can see swatches of the palette, see everything you're getting. It's really, really cool. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. Stay boxy.